Morning. How you doing, bud? Man, I'm good. I'm feeling good. good. Been to the gym multiple times this week. Uh, I started running, which I hate running. Oh, but yeah. I don't you know if I actually doing that. Yeah, I thought I hated running, and then I did it, and I was like, no, this actually feels pretty good because I haven't done like uh, heavy cardio anything in a long time. Yeah. Um, and so I did it, and I was like, man, this feels good. It felt terrible too at the same time, but but that was cool. I got uh, we're gonna start doing like a meal prep service delivered to the house for lunches and stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's been the hardest. I think that's the hardest thing for me is just like lunches are always like, Oh crap. We don't have anything. Oh, we got to do this. Like dinners. We plan yeah. out a little bit better, but lunches are always a little tough. So we're going to try yeah. it. Yeah. I just, I tend to eat whatever I've got left over and like plan that in, but yeah, yeah, you got to plan. You do have to plan ahead. Like I think I had yesterday. I didn't eat till dinner. Like by the time in, I was cooking up some, we were talking and, um, I was like grilling some pork chops and we had some stuff going and yeah, dude, by the time like those came off and I was like slicing pork chop off the bone, like getting in my mouth as quickly as I could. I didn't even wait <laughs> to sit down. I was so freaking hungry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nope, you won't catch me running. Not happening. Mm. I did get a uh, stationary bike though. And I enjoyed yeah, that. That's, sick. that's cool. Now I got to lie or I'm not going to lie. The uh, uh, bike seats suck. So that yeah. part, like if a bite seat didn't hurt so bad, like it would probably be better, but I just throw my iPad on there and let YouTube videos go and then like pedal away yeah. and suffer in that way. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that, you know, I don't know. Things, things are, things are good. Busy. So yeah, well, that's, that's perfect that you said that. Cause yeah, yeah. launch day, it's busy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to talk about work-life balance and your mm. thoughts on this and if it's <laughs> even possible, because, you know, I'm sitting here, this is my first week that I've had five days of work in a month. I've had three work days mm. each of the last three or four weeks. And it's been insane. Um, that's not enough time for me. I'm not, I'm not at that point in my life yet, yeah. but, and now it's like, we got baseball, like almost every day. I'm praying for a rain out tonight. That way I can chill. Yeah. But it's interesting because like that, you know, a lot of people want to do the side hustle so they can have more time and have that work-life balance. And I definitely have more freedom, like a lot more to do what I want when I want. But the balance part is hard. And I don't mm. know if it's possible. I don't know. I, I don't think it is possible. I'm curious your thoughts. I, I don't even know what that, like, what, what is, what is balance? Though? I like, I, that's been my thing with talking about work-life balance and all those things. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even know what that really means. Um, right. I, I think that I, I haven't really even been thinking about it very much lately um, because I just don't, I don't, I don't have like a goal for like, oh, I want to spend this many hours doing this. Like, I just want to enjoy what I'm doing as often as possible. And right now I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. So I'm kind of fine with it. Um, I do, I do worry about like, you know, I've got, you know, when you have a kid and it's, and you have multiple kids, like you have, like, that's the, that's the hard part is like, how do you, how do you make sure you spend time with your kids while also, you know, yeah. not, I don't know. It's, it's tough though. I I've never been able to really pinpoint like what is work-life balance? Like what, what should it be? How should I approach it? Um, I know what it's not for me. It's, it's not, uh, sitting around and doing like nothing or just like sitting around right. in coffee shops or on a beach or whatever. Like I don't, I like those things periodically on vacations or to take a quick mental break, but I get too restless, maybe too bored. Um, and I 100%. think a lot of that stuff is kind of overrated anyway. Um, especially if you have, if you're doing something every day that you like doing, like I don't have a, a need to like escape from it, I guess. Yeah. But, no, no, I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm, I think that the kids part makes it hard. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so to me, like, I'm not even trying to like have a balance, like of time in either place. I'm just, I'm trying to be where I'm at right in that moment. You know, like if I'm at work, I'm working. If I'm with the kids, I'm with the kids. Like I'm, I'm, leaving my phone in other rooms a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, like I'm, I'm trying, I'm just, so to me, it's almost like, I feel like that's the way it's not, it's not really like a real balance. It's, it's more, sometimes you have more of one thing or the other and you can't really, I don't know. 
I don't feel like I can control that. It's just, you kind of have to ride those ebbs and flows, but just trying to be more present, I guess. But it's interesting because people talk about this a lot and I've never, I don't feel like I've had that. I think I've had moments where it's more balanced, but it's almost like you have moments that are like, you have times where it's like you have, it, it's a lot. And then you have times where it's less. And so you're getting, I guess it's like a balance that balances out, <laughs> but yeah, like just having this like perfect, I just, I just haven't seen it. I haven't been able to do that. I don't, I'm not sure it actually exists. Like, I, I feel like the, so. the people that talk about like, I don't know, man, the people that talk about like having a really great work-life balance and that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like that's, I don't want to just assume, but I feel like it's not quite true or maybe they're painting a little bit better picture than it really is. Like, especially if you want to build something, like if you're really trying to build something and that's where like the online business space, like, I don't know. It's like people that say they make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Like there's almost no way that you did that without having to really grind at some point and really right. like sacrifice one area of your life for the other area of your life. Like I don't, like, I think you can get to a point after your business is established and it's making a baseline of revenue that you're happy with. Like, then you can step back. Um, but like on the path to creating it, I don't think it really exists. Like you have to make sacrifices somewhere. Um, yeah. but I think you do it within reason. Like, I don't think that, you know, I, I guess I could choose to be in my office all day and just work and not say hi to my kid ever. But like, you know, the, that's a, I choose not to do it that way. What right. I think is really hard. Like I, I think the online space, like I have friends that have built pretty large businesses that are not online. And that's where they, I mean, they travel so much, you know, and like they, they have mm -hmm. to get on flights and they're driving, they're in traffic. And like, that's the kind of stuff that I think it would be really like, I would be really wanting to get more balance, but like, I see my kid every day, you know, like I, I right. wake him up in the morning. I get to see him. I, like I get to see my kid more than 95% of people, especially people that don't work online. So like, yeah, I think it's like, I try to take the the balance part of it with a grain of salt because it's like, I already have a ton of balance, but I also need to build this thing because I'm trying to create this future and create this foundation for our family. And, right. um, you know, so I, I kind of don't sound bad, but I don't worry about it as much. Cause I already know like how fortunate I am in the situation I'm in, but man, if I was traveling so much like that, like then I would really be trying to figure that out. Cause I have, I have friends that are, they, they don't see their kids very often. And that's like, that's a tough thing, you know, but I get yeah. to see my kid all the time. Yeah, no, for real, man. Like I'm Cooper's almost eight. I've been mm -hmm. home with them every day of their lives. Yeah. You know, there's probably, I mean, there's times where I went, you know, like this past weekend, I was away for two days at a conference. So I was away from the kids. And then there's a couple of times like Katie and I've gone to Europe and we didn't have the kids, but I bet you it's less than 20 days over eight years that I was away from the kids. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe closer to 30. Um, if I start thinking about like us going to Europe and stuff. So, but probably like a month out of eight years. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. that's pretty awesome. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I just, my big thing that I tried, I try to focus on is just, I know there's like key times to be around them. Like when they first come home from school and they're full of energy and stories and, you know, running around and have been away from you all day. Like I want to be around for that, you know, going to bed. Yeah. Like, like I'm, you know, Katie, Katie kind of gets everybody ready for school. Like I have to just mm -hmm. wake up before they leave and like put snacks in their backpack. That's about <laughs> as functional as I am in the morning. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. um, but I, you know, I put them to bed. Right. And so to me, it's like, those are key times, like right when they come home, when they're going to bed dinner, you know, and then they don't, they don't want you around all the time, you know, like they, <laughs> they want to go yeah. do other things. They don't want to hang out with you for, you know, five hours every evening. So it's just kind of making the most of those times. Um, but yeah, man, like with, with the work stuff, it's just kind of knowing what season you're into. Like there's times, there's times to go hard, you know, and there's times where you got to pull away. Um, you know, and that was like, I felt like I had to step back at the very end of last year, start of this year to like have the energy to like go back to, you know, mm -hmm. going hard, you know? And I know you, you have that too, where you're like, man, I need a vacation. I need, I need to unplug, um, you know, before you get burnout. So, but I, yeah, man, I just, I was just really curious about your thoughts on that. Cause man, I, I heard so many people talk about that this weekend too. And 
Um, I just don't, I just don't buy into this, this work-life balance thing. <laughs> I have a hard time with it, I, I, but I think like, I don't really care what, I guess uh, I'm getting to a point in my life where like, I don't, if somebody else has great work-life balance and it's like awesome, I, that's great for them. I don't particularly care what they're doing. And I def, I definitely don't want to like judge my, I don't know, myself against how they're doing things. And like, are, oh, these people are spending tons of time with their kids and doing all the stuff. And maybe I'm not right. doing the same amount. Like you, you never see the full picture. And I just don't really, I just don't really care what other people do. Um, you know, I, cause I, I do think it's like, as a, it's like, you have to take care of your kids, obviously. And you have to take care of your relationships and like, you have to, you have to put effort into those things. But like, I also have my own goals that I want to achieve, you know? And I, and I think sure. that there's kind of like, I, I enjoy working and I enjoy working a lot. And I've found like the more, especially as I've hired people and there's more like team and stuff, like I get a lot of energy from that. And so like, I need that stuff and I need to work to feel like I'm doing what I want to, what I need to do in life. So right. like you got to, it's like, if, and maybe not everybody's wired that way, but like I would, if I was like stopping myself from working all the time to just hang out, like it always sounds so bad when I'm saying this, but like, but to like hang out with my kid, like if I'm like, I really want to work and I'm like, okay, I need to stop working so I can sit on the couch and watch TV with my kid. Like, I don't know if that's the best use of time. Like I'd rather kind of work and like build something. Sure. But I think the key parts of time that you're talking about are, are, are big because like sometimes your kids don't even notice that you're there, you know, right. um, at least in my experience, like he, you know, I've got a two-year-old. So there's plenty of times where he's not even aware that I'm in, like in the room or he doesn't particularly want to hang out with me or whatever. Um, but there are the times where he's like, when he'll come to my door and be like, daddy, daddy, like then I'll put everything down and go hang out with them. Cause I know that he, 100%. that's important to him in that moment. So I think that maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's what you do. You know, you just kind of notice yeah. those moments when it's like, they want to spend time with you, you know? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Like I tell you, this is hard. Um, and I did this last night, but I heard, I'm trying to remember who it is. Uh, the guy, I can't, I can't think of his name, but he's married. He's like a bajillionaire in his own right, but he's married to the lady that founded Spanx. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's Absolutely. like a partial owner of like the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Is that right? The basketball NBA team. Yeah. Uh, he owns something. Uh, yeah. He owns yeah something like that. Yeah. He owns a lot of stuff, but anyway, and he talked about like his big goal is just never say no to his kids when they want to do something. Mm. And like, I think that's awesome. And I always think about that. I want my kids to see me build a thing. And I want when they understand that we have this property and they got to grow up here and in this house and they, you know, the things that will, the experiences we'll get to have, the trips we'll get to go on, all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I want them to see that and, and, and realize like, oh, I can do cool stuff. Like I can do whatever I want with my life. And like, so it's almost like that's become a big driving force for me is like, how big can you go just so like, you know, they feel like they can do those things. It doesn't have to be entrepreneurship, but like, you know, yeah. kids are like, oh, I want to be an astronaut. Like I want my kids to actually freaking feel like they could do that if they wanted. And so yeah. I feel like the best way to do that is like do something big. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I, well, and that's part of why I'm working so hard now is because, yeah, I, I want to build a certain, like, I've got a very clear picture of what the lifestyle is that I want. Um, mm -hmm. And so, but I know to get there, like, I've got to do some, I got to, I got some work to do, you know, I got some big things to do. Um, but, you know, I, I think that, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that it would be awesome if like my kids look at what I'm able to build um, and just go like, man, my dad did that super cool. Um and then, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just tough, but I honestly, I don't going back to the original question though. I haven't really been thinking about it very much lately Yeah, fair enough. Um, because I think, I don't know. I feel like that would be, if I started thinking about it, then I would not do the things that I needed to do to get to where I want to go. Sure. You know, or maybe, maybe I would, I don't know. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't necessarily been thinking about it. I think a lot about like, you know, am I showing up for the kids that I get to spend enough time with them? Like yesterday, <laughs> I told you, I didn't know we had the happy hour thing. I, uh, you know, that we do every month. I didn't, it just didn't occur to me that it was the first, it didn't occur to me that it was Wednesday. Like I feel yeah. like today's Wednesday and it's Thursday. Um, and then I had a dentist appointment, which I, I kind of knew, but I didn't. And so all of a sudden I was like, oh, okay, I'm done working. I have to go to the dentist now. So like, that was my whole day. 
And so <clears throat> I got to the end of the evening and that was why the kids were up a little later. Cause I was like, man, I didn't really get to like spend a ton of time with them. Like, let's at least take, you know, yeah. a few minutes. Um, so like, I'm, I'm very aware of like that, like making sure trying to like connect with them each day, same with Katie. Right. Um, but you say that like, <laughs> say that like it's an afterthought. It's tough when you have kids, right? Like you're thinking about you think about the kids, but you got to connect with your spouse too, you know. So, I I think about that a lot, but I don't think about the like, am I working too much, not having enough time, you yeah. know, outside of the, hey, they're coming in the door from school. Like I'm gonna go downstairs, even if I have to come back up. Let me go downstairs and be with them for this next half hour. Um, it's more of like, I'm more of what I do think about. I think when it comes to and I'm not thinking like work-life balance, but I'm thinking about what am I prioritizing? What are the ideas or the projects that I have in mind, like that I actually need to do? And I don't like, can't do everything. So what are the things that I can do and how much can I realistically do? So that way I'm not just piling stuff on and not, and then creating anxiety, you know, to where yeah. when I'm in those routines and I'm down you know, I don't want to be hanging out with my wife or my kids or whatever, you know, and be thinking about, oh, I need to get this thing done. Like that's yeah. the worst. Like, so to me, I guess we're talking about life balance. Like that's really what it is, you know, not having that feeling of when I'm at work, feeling guilty that I'm not with the family. And when I'm with the family, not feeling like, oh, I have these things to do. Yeah, um, I I can relate to what you were saying. Like, oh, we're just watching cartoons. I I'm gonna go get this done. That's different, right? But yeah. it's that like, if I I have to get this done today for this client, you know, and then that consumes your evening. So I try to avoid that. So I think that's probably the most I think about it. But yeah, yeah. I've been trying not to not to even beat myself <laughs> up about. <laughs> this might not be the right approach, but I've been trying not to beat myself up about anything. Like, um. It was, I was talking to Rambeer, uh, which used to be our, our, mm -hmm. um, fitness coach. Um, but he, I mean, he just, he talks a lot about like, instead of feeling bad about something, like you just kind of recognize it, like, okay, this is what happened. And then you can, you know, course correct the next day or, or not right. if you don't want to, but like, um, you know, I'm sure that there's been days where I probably wasn't present enough with my kid or whatever, but like, I, I try not to like feel bad about that. Cause it's just like. I've got goals. I've got things I want to do. You know, maybe I went a little bit too far on the work side today. So I'll try to back it off the next day. And like, I guess I'm not beating myself up as much about it, but it's hard. I don't, I don't know if that's something that I've really practiced or anything. I just, that really stuck with me when he was just, it, I mean, he was talking about food, but it's just like, if you eat a bad meal or you eat too much or whatever, like you can get right. upset about it and you can, you know, be like, man, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? Or you can just be like, look at it very objectively, like zoom out a little bit. And they're like, okay, yeah, I did that, but how do I course correct or what do I do next? And that, I think that's been, it's been easier to work a lot because of, because of that. And also like, you know, make time for your kids and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. There's no perfect answer to it though. I, what I will say is I've been doing a bad job of going to sleep on time. I've been staying up to like dude, 11 o'clock, 1130, waking up at three in the morning. Like I had, dude, I woke up at three, uh, two nights ago. And I had, I was, my mind was like spinning. Like I was like, oh, we've got to change the KPIs for this. I need to talk to, uh, talk to this person about this. We need to change this objective and I need to be focused on this and not this in the business. And so it, it was so much stuff that I had to, I just got up and I like started kind of working at like three, which is a terrible idea. Um, but that's, what's been happening to me lately. That's, and I'm more worried about that because like, that's when I start to get burned out when I start doing yeah. that. And then I start staying up too late and I wake up and start working and I don't set the boundaries of like when I start working and when I, when I kind of stop, like that's when I yeah. really get in trouble. Yeah, man. The, the staying up too late thing. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of that and it's like, I'm just tired. Like mm -hmm. not, not where I can't function, but it's just like, I got to find a way to get to sleep earlier, you know, just cause it's, you know, it, it goes to that thing. Like you don't beat yourself up, but like course correcting, you know, or I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh man, I should have done this. It's more like, okay, how do I, I know this is the issue? How do you fix it? Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's with anything. It's like, I, now I, I, I think that's different than years ago. I, I kind of look at like, okay, this happened. How can I change it? How can I fix that? How can I make that different? Right. Um, and so it's not even the, 
you know, when you're talking about, I don't think about work-life balance. Like I'm not even thinking about that per se either. I just know the things that are important to me or like, I'm starting to kind of figure out like how I kind of generally want my days to go, my life to be. And so it's just when that, when you're not there, cause you're not right. You got to work toward that. So it's like, when you're not there, it's just like, okay, that didn't work out today. Like what, why didn't it work out? Right? right. And so with like not going, you know, not going to bed, like I'm starting to find, I need to, it's like, I have like a, a like a, I don't have like a set routine to wind down, but it's a process for me because I don't fall asleep easy. So if I don't start early enough, like unplugging from work, my phone, whatever, to where I kind of like, I don't decompress or whatever the word is, then it's hard for me to go to sleep, you know? So it's like, I got to start that. (laughs) I I'm, I'm realizing that's just a longer process for me. And honestly, like my get started processes too. Like I'm, I'm just like slow to start, (laughs) slow to, (laughs) slow to finish. Right. It's like, it takes this time to build the momentum and like get the engine turning. And then like, once I'm going, I'm going. And then it's like, I, then it takes just as long for it to unwind. And it's just, seems to be how my brain is. So it's just kind of figuring that out and, and adjusting to that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in yeah. the middle of that too. Yeah. I, I, I'm fine. I feel like I'm getting better at it as I get older, you know, it's like, I'm, I know the formula for feeling really good and being like super, not productive even, but just being like having my best ideas, <laughs> like, yeah. cause I feel like that's what a lot of my life is turning into is just like, I have to think really hard about stuff and like, just figure out like, where, where am I going to strategize? Like, what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. Um, and I do my best thinking when I go to bed before nine o'clock, when I don't drink alcohol, when I put my phone and my everything in a totally separate room at night, which I do that every night, but like, that's been part of it. Like when I do at least that stuff, Oh, and exercise, like, you know, mm-hmm. and eat well, there's a, there's a lot of things, <laughs> but like, that's when I'm like super optimized. Okay. But what is that? What does that really boil it down to when you're taking care of your health yeah, and your yeah, sleep yeah. being part of that? Cause like you're, you're the phone and that stuff that's part of the sleep. So it's like when you're yeah. being healthy and getting sleep, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I guess what? Ideas. I get better ideas, <laughs> but, but. I don't think I get as much done sometimes in that when I'm in that mode of like, I've got really clear thoughts and I've really got like a, a like I can see the whole picture of mm-hmm. what we're doing and where we're going. And then it's like, well, you got to start building it. So then I start building it and then it's like, I start grinding and that's when I start staying up later, but I'm actually getting more like work product delivered, I guess, in, in a way. Uh, and so it's like a cycle that I go through where it's like, I have the vision and I'm like, holy shit this is good. We can do this. And then I, we start enacting the vision and then it's like grind, 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 grind. And then I get burnout. And then I take a little bit of time off and then I go back to the first version of it. That might be the key though, right? Like that's your, maybe that's your off season on, you know, versus yeah. I always try to think about like with sports, right? You have like your regular season grind and then you have your yeah. off season. And so it's like your off season is your, your time and vision. And then your, your, actual season is when you're executing and doing those things. But it's yeah. also, it's interesting too. I was thinking about that as like, you found your CEO mode, <clears throat> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have, you, so. know, you have the team and everything, but it's just like, we're still at that point where you're still in the grind a little bit. Like you don't. Oh you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. Know? So it's like, until you have that, where you can fully step out and just be the vision you know, and then you can live in that place. Like, and and I've yep. met people like that and you see people like that. And and that's why it's interesting. Like you see these people that are <clears throat> like, after they like make it to a certain level in their business. And then next thing it's like, you see them and they're, they show up and they're just shredded <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> you know, like in really good shape and everything. And it's because yeah. they found that they had, they've Whatever created the space for that mode. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you yeah. got any last thoughts there? No, I, I, I've got some ideas for our next topic, but okay. Yeah, me yeah. too. But so stay tuned for next week's episode, which we'll record here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. we got a lot of content on there, you know, subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and uh, we'll see you next week.